Oh, here it is, my paintbrush. I was looking all over for it. Now that I found it, I'll show you the mural that I just finished. Follow me, guys. So we're out here at Alpha Land. It's about 10 p.m. and I just got finished with the projection on my third mural in Gym 3. So I did Ali. Aren't oh yeah, here's my finished mural right here. So guys, I finally finished one of the biggest murals here at Alpha Land. I'm not even sure if this will be the biggest mural, but right now it's it's the biggest and the most detailed mural here at Alpha Land. It took me four weeks to do it, a Monday through Friday job, and it's finally completed. So on this mural, the elements outside, they were working with me some days, they were working against me some days, but you know, each day I kept pushing through it. The paint, it took about maybe like two layers for most of the colors and for the white colors it took about three layers but for the most part like everything went well i had i don't know if you were able to tune into my instagram stories but uh, i had a few tape issues the tape kept falling off because of how humid it was and that's the that's some of the downsides of working outside is you do have to work with the elements or basically around the elements. But for the most part, it was a huge, tedious job, but oddly enough, I enjoyed every second of it. Um, I love seeing the rain sometimes. The rain would be sideways rain, upwards rain, you know, just like a uh, forest gum. But it, I love what I do, guys. I love what I do. So there really isn't, there's no aspect of painting murals that I hate, honestly. Like, it can suck in the moment, but there's something that I, I take away from each little thing that I do, honestly. Uh, if I'm not painting, like I could not just sit at home. Like I have to be painting. I have to be thinking about painting, everything. But yeah, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I hope I did Arnold Schwarzenegger justice. And I'm so happy that I made Christian happy. I'm so happy that I made uh, the people that seen it already happy. Like, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm starting on mural number three on the first wall. So then I'm gonna start on technically mural number four because it's gonna be a quote, a famous quote from a famous late great basketball player to give you some hints. Um, and I'm, gonna, I'm about to get that started right now on this wall. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Is this where I do the transition? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Joshua? I got you, bro. Now you get it, bro. <laughs> BFF all pulling up. Some of you may know him as the 3D man. The 3D man himself. What's up, boy? <laughs> he said 3D. <laughs> hey! Bye, Joshua. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Bye, Joshua. <laughs> End up getting trapped in the cord. <laughs> So I am 
outlining the projection, and it's what you usually want to do um, when you're doing letters or logos. You have to make it as straight as possible. But um, honestly, anytime that I can use my projector, I do. A lot of non-artists think that it's, I guess, cheating. You know, like in the art world, it's like, oh, you traced it. But I mean, that's when you have something to prove. Like, I know I can paint, I know I can draw, and I use um, projection to get the job done quicker. So I'm not, I'm not tested on whether I can freehand the stencil the best. Like, I'm, I'm tested on the final product. So. That's what the client pays for. So this is the fastest way, it's the quickest way, it's the most precise way to um, get a mural done. That's using a projector. But yeah, these are also special pencils and since I'm tracing on brick, it's like killing the lead. So I have to constantly, I don't even use a sharpener anymore. I just use like an X-Acto knife to get like the precise like slices and sharpness. Cause sometimes like I found that no matter how much a pencil sharpener is that I spend on, like it doesn't matter the price. A lot of times it'll still like break off in the sharpener or it'll like pull the piece of lead or graphite out of the wood. So now just to assure that that doesn't happen, I just use my, um, my sharpener that you saw in the previous clip.